pack. Today we're doing the drawing for the NFL Prism Cello Pack giveaway. I figured I'd do it live. So, well, at least I'd record it. This isn't necessarily live, but I'd record it so you can see, you know, who the winner is and see how I do it and stuff like that. Um, but first, I want to remind you, I have the, oh, we're also going to look at the most selling baseball players of the last seven days. So the baseball players that sold the most cards in the last seven days, which is really valuable to know because that says, hey, this is who the market is looking at the most. Um, there's And there's been some change up this week from last week, so you'll want to stick around and see that. Also want to remind you of the Sports Card Society where almost every day I have a, uh, I do a video outlining a specific sports card investment that I think is a good buy, that's a good opportunity, and I share, I make a whole video and I share it with my Sports Card Society, um, as well as I lay out all the research and my reasoning as to why. For instance, this 2008 LeBron James PSA 9, I was recommending it to them. We were getting it for around 100-ish bucks back early January. Now it's going for... You know, almost 400 bucks. The uh, this Kobe Bryant Z Force PSA 9 I was recommending to him it's going for 400 bucks right now. We we're getting it for around 150 bucks uh, back in November December. This Fernando Tatis Top Scrum update it's going for over 200 bucks when I was recommending it to them. It was going for uh, you know around 70 uh, less than 80 bucks back in December. So lots of good reasons to be in there. Plus, you get discount PSA grading. Twenty day, you get twenty day PSA grading for just twenty five dollars. If you go to PSA website, you'll see they have twenty five day grading for fifty dollars. So quite a difference there. And then of course we have an awesome Discord with a lot of great investors in. It's a private Discord, and the community is growing. And there is all I gotta say is that the, the members in the Discord are awesome. Like they are buying and selling a lot of stuff, and they are helping each other out big time. I'm in there too, but. It's the community that really makes the thing so damn valuable. Anyway, so I'm going to be raising the price on the Sports Card Society uh, soon. The link is in the description, sportscardsociety.com. Uh, it's only $9.99 a month or $99 a year. But again, I'm going to be raising the price soon. I don't know when, probably by the end of the month, but I haven't picked a date yet because I, I'm trying to give proper notice for people that have been watching my channel for a while and, um, and, and, and want to hop in. I've been on the fence, you know, but I don't know when. It may be before the end of the month. I, I really don't know when. I'm going to kind of consult the tarot cards on that. So that link's in the description. Uh, please give this video a like. I really appreciate it. Seriously, uh, YouTube algorithm gods like that kind of uh, praise. And so what I did is I pulled up all the videos from the dates because I do a video every day. So I pulled up all the dates, put them in the wheel of names, and spun it. We ended up on 2 6. So then what I did is I took all the, all the, there were 17 comments on the video from 2 6, from February 6th. And so now I'm going to spin the wheel, and whichever number it lands on, I'm going to, we're going to see who that name is. And that's the winner, as long as, and then after this, I'm going to go check to make sure they follow me on YouTube, or follow me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and then follow me on either TikTok or, or Twitter. So let's spin this baby. Here we go. It looks like it's going to be comment number... I love the Price is Right, by the way, and Wheel of Fortune. The Price is Right. Comment 11. So let's go to that video. Right? It was comment 11. Yep. Let's go to that video. Where is it? Here it is. Comment 11. Let's count down. Where are we? Comment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Comment 11 is Caleb Cole. Caleb, shoot me a DM on Instagram. And uh, and uh, looks like you won, buddy. So you're going to have to shoot me a uh, Insta uh, comment on Instagram, which my Instagram, my TikTok, my Twitter, they're all, those links are in the description. Um, shoot me a DM and uh, get me your address, and I'll send you that NFL Prism Cell Pack. Congratulations, buddy. All right, let's dive into the content. Sales volume by player. So I'm in the Market Movers tool. I went to sales volume by player, pulled up baseball and the grade PSA 10 over the last seven days, and it pulled up the top 10 players for me that sold the most cards. Looks like number one was Fernando Tatis. He's got 20 cards in here, and overall those cards went up 3.9%, so not a ton, but we'll take a closer look at some of them. His tops chrome went went up six percent. So this card has been slowing down. Let's pull up that chart real quick so you can see what the uh, growth rate was on it. But I'm going to pull it back further than a week. I'm going to pull it back. 
hell, probably to the beginning of January. No, nope. we're gonna go to the eighth because today's the eighth. And you see, this card started January out at 262, and now it's at 343. It looks like it's it's definitely slowed down its its growth acceleration because you can see it's going up, 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 and then the it's still overall going up. It looks like, but the acceleration has certainly slowed, which makes sense. But the baseball season, spring training starts here this month. So that might add some heat to this. Pop count of 5693. Tatis is a guy I'm pretty high on. I really have. I've bought a lot of his rookie cards. As you see, I recommended it to my society. Uh, we made some good money off him. In my opinion, I expect these cards to go up more as we get closer to the baseball season. Maybe it goes down some, but I expect it to go up higher than this. I could see this card getting to 500 bucks before the season starts. And, and I think most of that growth will be in March. So, because as we lead up and get a little hype around the baseball season, because they'll be playing some, you know, spring training games and shit like that. And I expect, and there'll be news coming out. So I expect this to go up from here. So I'll probably leave a link in the description. Um, for you to go check this out on eBay because I wanted to look because when I click that button on market movers you get this nice refined search so I'll probably leave a link to this Ooh, only 14 minutes left on this but that's probably about what it should be going for it's Topps Chrome 199 that's nice I like that one too Topps Chrome update that is so let me close that and what are these yeah curry all right Tops Chrome Refractor. That's a nice one. I wonder what the pop count is on that. Looks like it's going for about mm, three, three and a half times more than his base. It's got one fifth, one sixth of the population. It's only gone up a little bit. So a little under a thousand for the Refractor. Tops Base down 3.1%. Like I said, baseball seems to be slowing down. It's Topps Chrome Update. That's the one I recommend in my society. Let's check that one out. Let's check out its chart. Let me get some coffee while this is loading. So it started the week at 148, and it went up to 201. Now, I think this was kind of a lower end of the week, because I know it's sold for more than this before the 1st of February. But let's pull it back to the beginning of January. So as I could just click last 30 days. So apparently, wow, that doesn't make any sense. So that I think that was an outlier of a sale because really it was down here. And actually a little bit before that, we were getting for under 100 bucks. And then as you can see, it's just been steadily going up. This one, Chili Dipper up here, really screws up the chart because that's that doesn't seem like a real sale to me. So there we go. That gives us more idea of what this card's been doing, and it just kind of continues to go up. Looks like there was a flat line here, but looks like it started spiking up more. And I like this one because the pop count. When you looked at when we looked at the Chrome, the regular Chrome, the pop count was over five thousand, but the Chrome update, it's under. It's only eight hundred sixty-one. That's why I like these update ones because their pop counts are so much lower. So I feel like they're undervalued. And from what we can tell, overall, this card's gone up you know, 54% in the past roughly month. And since my society and I were buying it in December, it's gone up over 100%. So I really like these update ones. I think there's more room for this to go up too because the pop count is low. So that just inherently gives it more room to go up. The lower the pop count, the more room there is for the individual card, the individual share to go up. Because I look at all of this like, like a market cap, like you take 861, times the value of the card, and that's the market cap. So the more of these cards there are, the harder it is for this price to go up because the market cap, whether the market is aware of it or not, is a real thing that is a factor, no doubt about it. So I will, yeah, I'll leave this one up for you to take a look at too on eBay. And I think that's it. I think that's all we're gonna look at there. We're gonna move on to the next one. Ronald Acuna shouldn't be a big surprise there. 
219 overall, up 2.9%. Let's look at a card or two of his, Tops Heritage. Let's see which ones went up the most. 9.9, 17. His Bowman Chrome, that's interesting. That price doesn't seem too bad to me. Let's check it out and see what his pop count is and look at the chart. Load, load, load. By the way, if you like this Market Movers tool, that's what I'm using here. Most important thing I use in sports car investing, no doubt about it. It makes me the most money, saves me from making the most mistakes, and it just makes sports car investing so much more fun for me because it really gets to the math nerd in me, the data nerd, the stat nerd. Uh, I'll leave a link for the Market Movers tool in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year. Highly recommend at least giving it a try. And it's got a lot of tools that I'm not even, that I don't even show you. Um, and you're not even going to get used to using all of them in a month. But I, ones I really recommend are this tab over here, price movement by player, price movement by card, sales volume by player, sales volume by card. I, I, select, I, I really recommend using this tab a lot. And then popular card chart, chart any card. I really recommend using that one a lot too. And then I love using this variation one where you can compare grades, uh, variation ratios, which is like comparing parallels like the prism base to the prism silver and the players you can compare players to one another but you can kind of do that through these other ones too um, but the ones I use the most are this tab and these four this tab and these four including charting sealed wax which is really interesting I like buying sealed wax as a long-term investment because the pop count of sealed wax just goes down as, as more and more gets opened the existence of the sealed wax of a product just goes down like 1986 Fleer basketball every time someone opens one of those there's one less um, in the world and there's no more ever being made so anyways uh, really recommend checking out let's look at this only 682 huh started the week at 110 got up to 195 that's a hell of a that's a low pop count. Let's see what I'll leave a link to that one on eBay too. This nice refined search here. Looks like there's 14 results for it. Interesting. That's really interesting. I wonder what his what his nine is doing. No, it's not on here, I guess. Or at least none sold in the past week. Anyways, we'll move on because I won't make this video too long on you. Tops update, bat in blue. Uh, let's check it out. I want to see what the pop count is on it. There's two variations of this one. One of them much more rare, much more valuable than the other. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, look, look at this though. Would you rather have this one for 218 at a pop count of almost 17,000? This rookie card, or would you rather have this rookie card for 200 bucks with a pop count of what was it like 600? Give me this one. It's so much more rare for the same price. A little less probably. So done with that one. Not interested in that card. That pop count is so high. Okay, I think that's enough for Acuna, who's an emerging superstar. Juan Soto makes sense that these are the three top guys on the list. That's what I would expect. The order would vary, but looks like overall Soto is up 2.8 percent. Let's look at a card or two of his. His Bowman Chrome with or Topps Chrome update with 55 sales. Let's take a look at that. Looks like it was going for, let's see where it started the week at in terms of price. Low, low, low. Here we go. Started the week at about 446, I guess. So the cards really, I mean, it went down. And then I guess, you know, it's pretty much flatlined for this week. Pop count's not terrible. A little high, but not terrible. Not 17,000. 8397, there's probably more value to be found in other cards of his. Because I, I feel like there's probably pop counts of relevant cards going for less than this with a much lower pop count, or at least the same price. Let's pull it back. Let's just click last 30 days. So this card's been interesting. I mean, it has not really... It has went, it has overall been pretty flat. Like it went up, but then it really went down. I don't know about this sale. This sale seems like, well, that's probably about right. It, it hasn't really moved that much. So not a card I'd be interested in. A lot of sales of it. Again, that's, I don't know. 
His heritage has gone up 11. Let's take a look at that one. See what this car has been doing and check out the pop count of it. Pop count half as much as the other one. Looks like it started the week at 135, ended the week at 152. So, you know, that's a decent return. Let's go look at the last 30 days. Start 30 days ago it was 127. Today it's selling for 152. So about a 20% return. Not bad. Not bad. I feel like there were cars that probably did better than that over the last 30 days of him. Let's check out the tops update. 83 sales. So I feel like there's pretty there's pretty high pop count here. 83 sales this week alone. Yeah, look at that. That's a big number. Start of the week at 292 up to 313. Last 30 days, I think I feel like a lot of Juan Soto cards just have high pop counts. So that's what's nice about this market movers tool is to dig in here and see which ones have the lower have the better value, lower pop count for the price. Yeah, overall his cards see, it, see how it's, it's it's these pop counts. They make it harder for the card to go up because there's so many sales of it that people are battling each other more in terms of trying to sell, even if the card's going up. Maybe especially when the card's going up. So Juan Soto, I'm sure there's some good cards to buy of him, but I didn't find any right there. I'd have to dig in deeper, and this video would just get too long. Number four, Griffey. we got a legend. Eight cards, 130 total sales, up about 15% on the week. Bowman Base. Don Russ is Bowman. Goodness, let's chart that one. And this is from the technically junk rack, wax area, but grading didn't exist then. So I, I just bought one of these this week. Because I looked at this card, I don't know, a week or two ago, and I was like, you know, the pop count's a lot lower than I thought. And I liked the price. Let's look at it over the last 30 days. I think it's been on a, I think it's gone up quite a bit in the past 30 days. Yeah. 333 bucks, up to a high now of 847. So it's gone up 154 and a half percent. Wow. Pretty great. Pretty great. Let's check out the PSA 9 just in case. As I like to look at these ratios, uh, depending on the pop count. So, interesting. So his PSA 9, 42 bucks. Right now it's going for about 56 bucks. So it's gone up 33%, while his 10 has gone up 155%. That's why I bought this last week, or two weeks ago, I don't remember. I got it for about 40 bucks. I bought the 9. I got it for like 40 bucks because I realized that the 10 was going up and the 9 wasn't really following yet. And now you're seeing it's starting to fill in that gap because it's not like the 10 just goes up without the 9 following. And it depends on the pop count. There's a lot more the 9s than the 10s. So typically with ratios, by the way, if you're, if you're newer to investing, pop count is, is this number here. It means that there's 1,972 of these in existence currently of the Ken Griffey Jr. 1989 Bowman base in the grade PSA 10. So there's the, here's the pop count on that one, a little under 2,000, and this one is a little over 10,000. Typically, on these ratios, I like to see them around 3.5. Now, that depends on things. That depends a lot on the pop counts, right? If pop counts, if there were, you know, 2,000 of these and 2,000 of these, I would expect this to be somewhere around 3.5. And, um, and again, it varies too. If there were 10,000 of these and 10,000 of these, like this number would be bigger. And because the nine is a much bigger number, this number is bigger. But this seems too big to me. I think this should be somewhere around like seven, right? Because there's, what, five times as many of these, five and a half. So I think this should be somewhere around seven, seven and a half. So I think that this card should be more like a hundred bucks. That's why I bought it at 40. And this one was just on its way up. So, you know, bought it back here and uh, it's gone up a few hundred bucks which is nice but the nine was is a really good value and I still think there's room there so I'll leave a link in the description for the nine because I think there's some good value there on to the next Ooh. Glaber Torres Torres I think he was on the list last week up just a little bit overall, 13 cards, selling a total of 113 cards in the system, selling a total of 124 cards, up 0.9%. Not a whole lot of movement here. 2018 Tops Chrome Update Base up 18% with five sales. Looks pretty cheap. Let's chart it. I, 
I have like 10,000 tabs up. I wonder if that's affecting my load time here. Do you ever do that? Like just have a billion tabs up and just never close any? You're always going to get back to them, right? Um, 1,500, pretty low pop count. It's gone from 37 to 49. Okay, what's it done in the last 30 days? Hmm, overall, oh, overall, not much. Looks like this was a good week to get in for whatever reason. Interesting. I wouldn't, I won't be buying that card. I don't think he's a guy I would really be buying anyways. Not a big Glaber guy. Next, Pete Alonzo. He's been on this list over and over, over all his cards though. So he's got 17 cards in here. They've sold 112 on the week and down overall 6%. Let's look at the Pete Alonzo. Let's look at his Topps Chrome. Pretty standard rookie card. Let's see what the pop count is and what's been going on. Pop count, not terrible, 4,600, down. Let's look at it over the last 30 days. Oh, what'd you think of the Super Bowl yesterday? Huh? I mean, leave a comment about that. What'd you think of the Super Bowl? It was surprising, I think, to most of us that Brady won. I didn't really care who won. Actually, I think I might be glad that Brady won because Brady's cards are already so out of touch for me and most of us, and Mahomes are too. But if Brady lost, it wasn't going to do much to his cards. But since Mahomes lost, his cards are going to go down. And I'm probably going to do football tomorrow. And we'll look at see what some of the cards are doing, you know, already. Uh, it, it'll be interesting. Because I would like to get me some Mahomes rookies. And Brady, I mean, when are we going to learn? Just don't bet against that guy, I guess. I mean, when are we going to learn that? Because he just keeps getting older. So like, all right, and he's against young Mahomes and this team. I really think... Andy Reid's son getting in that accent and stuff, I think that had a major effect on this game. Because, I mean, look, Andy Reid's a human. Like, that is his son. That's more valuable to him than this game, if you can believe it. There aren't many things it would be, but his family would be. And you know that had to have completely disrupted his his thinking because his, his thought processes and his mind... Had to have, it had to have taken up a big chunk of his emotion and his ability to think. And I feel like that probably really played a role. Mahomes didn't look that great. But again, you got to put it on the coaching too. I, think that, I just think that that accident, his son having that accident, really put, really affected the Chiefs. I think it did. I mean, he's the leader of that team. He's the coach. He's the head coach. So I really think it did. Uh, with that being said, the Tampa Bay defense really rocked it and their and their defensive coach was it Bulls god they really had Mahomes number and Mahomes you could see Mahomes was just never ever comfortable but I really enjoyed the Super Bowl overall I was hoping to see more of a shootout but overall I'm happy the Bucks won and you know I, I'm not like some super fan of Tom Brady I like him more now than I used to but I was I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be able to see, witness such greatness. Like we're watching probably the best, most, the, the biggest champion of all time. So technically the best athlete of all time. We're watching that. And he just keeps doing it. At his age, on a new team. And it's like, I'm, I'm just thankful to watch such greatness, really. All right, on to this. Pete, you started the week at 60. Now you're up to 61. So 55 to 61. But it really went up, you know, to 71.50. Not a card I'd probably be looking at. I think that's it for Pete Alonzo. Who's next? Mike Trout. Now that's more interesting. 13 cards, 89 sales over the past week, up a total of 28%. That makes sense to me because modern cards were on a rip and then vintage cards, and I just feel like Mike Trout may have possibly gotten ignored because he's modern, but he's also a legend already, and I think that he falls in some really small 
gap that people forget about because he's like all of it. And the Angels suck. I, I mean, I don't see the Angels ever winning, which sucks. I'm not an Angels fan. I just, I'd like to see Mike Trout, able his talents used somewhere that they can actually win a championship. Bowman draft base, 19-2. That's a good gain. It's 2012 prism. No, no, don't. This is stupid. This is just this is just basketball football card collect investors coming in not knowing that the, the prism is unlicensed because it's a Panini product. Topps owns the the licensing for for baseball. Excuse me, I might sneeze. No, look, maybe, huh? <coughs> Goodness. Um, no, no, thank you. I don't buy Panini for baseball. Only Topps and Bowman. And because Bowman's owned by Tops, and they own the licensing, 2012. That's not his rookie year. This would be a rookie. This would be a rookie. This wouldn't be a rookie, would they? They wouldn't have rookie on this card, would they? Let's look. The 2012 Tops update. No. Yeah. Okay. And will be also. This is just a second year card with a low pop that people are like, "Damn, Mike Trout." Rookie cards are expensive. Maybe I'll buy a second year, and I understand that. Not many baseball players, that's the case, but he's so epic that, yeah, that's the case. Let's look at this. I mean, this has gone up 23%. I wonder what pop count is on this. 1180. Got the rookie badge, very important. Really brings up the value of a card. If it says rookie or has a rookie badge or says draft pick or prospect. Started the week at 1833. Last one sold for 22.75, up 20 Four percent. Let's see what he did over the last thirty days. Interesting. I mean, I don't think you can really go wrong with Mike Trout. That thing's gone up over the last thirty days, eighty-five percent. It looks like it's like picking up acceleration. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. Also, that's very interesting. I think that's all I'm going to look at for Trout. On to the next. Jason Dominguez makes sense. He's on here too. He's got two cards, just the two, the Bowmans, because he's not actually playing in the major leagues yet, I don't believe. Um, first prospect, I have this one. Uh, or maybe I have this one. I don't remember. Um, let's take a look at the Chrome. So Dominguez... He just looks like a little boy. All right, 300, 373. Let's see what it's done over the last 30 days. You made the list, Jason. I think he was on the list last week, too. He started 30 days ago. You could have got this card for 220. Now she's going for 373, and the acceleration, the growth acceleration has really went up. It's getting a little flatter here, so I don't know. It did get a little flatter here and then jump back up, so maybe it keeps going. I don't know. Pop count still fairly low, 2,500. I'll put this one in the in the link in the description too. Very interesting card. Let's look at his nine real quick. Now this is highly speculative, I think, Jason Dominguez, because he hasn't I don't think he's actually played for the Yankee Yankees yet. Leave a comment, I don't know. Jason Dominguez. Ooh, interesting. So his ten is up seventy percent and his nine is up. 18%. So there may be some room in there. I wonder what the pop count. The 9s are actually less than the 10. Interesting. 4.84 ratio. I, be, look, okay. I'll leave a link in the description for the 9, actually. Because the pop count, you know, that 3.5 that I talk about, um, it's rare that the, the PSA 9 is less than the 10. So this should probably be closer to like 3, 3.25 in my opinion, plus the total pop count is less than 5,000. Um, less than 4,500, actually. So that's interesting. There might be some good value there, because the 10's already gone up 70% in the past 30 days, and the 9's only gone up 18%. The 9 should follow the 10. So I'll leave a link to that one in the description. And that's literally all there is for Jason Dominguez. So, well, there's one other, his regular Bowman, but whoops. 
Wander Franco, four cards, 82 sold, down a total of 5.1%. Makes sense. He's on the list. Another pretty well looked at prospect. All of them are down. Maybe it's a good time to buy him. Let's look at his. Let's look at his Bowman Chrome. Is this not first prospect? Auto. I feel like this is this. Let's look at it. Please give this video a like if you're still watching this video. I really appreciate it. And be sure to click that bell if you're a subscriber. If you're not subscribing, what the hell? Subscribe. You probably watched. You probably this probably isn't the first one you've watched. Um, you want to get updated this stuff right away. Also, I want to remind you I have the card pack newsletter. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Where almost every day I email the top trending players uh, straight to your email, and it's free. Um, I send you send you some good stuff. It's not as good as the Sports Card Society, but it really keeps you updated to top trending cards. So his Bowman Chrome is going for about eight thousand. It's been going down. Let's see what it did over the last 30 days. Oh, shit. Okay, overall, gone up pretty good. I mean, started under 200. Now it's going for 230. And you see that it got a high of 267. You can get it for 237 right now. I expect his cards to go up as we get closer to the baseball season. You know, you can sell this probably, in my opinion. You know, any buying decisions you make, that's you. I'm just... These are educational videos, and I'm just sharing my opinions. I can't guarantee anything. But I could totally see this card shooting above this before the baseball season actually starts, which is April 1st. Um, looks like we got just a little bit of dip here, which is nice. Maybe it's on sale. So I'll put a link to this one in the description also. Because it's Wander Franco. I mean, that's pretty great. It's Wander Franco. It's one of the guys I definitely want to have. That's all I'm going to look at with him. I, get, I don't know how long this video has been going, but I feel like it's been on a while. And then Vlad Guerrero to round out the list. Also makes sense that he'd be on here. Um, 15 cards, 77 total sales, down a total of 5.8%. Huh? Okay, that makes sense. Baseball cards are cooling off, man. They're going, they're going on sale, as I like to put it, at this time of year. You know what I mean? Like when it's straight into the off season, they're going on sale too. But you got to time it a little better with the baseball season starting April 1st and spring training starting this month. Um, this window, this on sale window is smaller, which is nice too, because you can get your returns faster. If you, I'd probably be selling a lot of things right before the season because that's, there's just a lot of hype, you know, and things, people have to exceed expectations for the cards to keep going up in season. Really? Let's pull this up. Cause this is up 10.9%. What the pop count is? Pretty low pop count. Got the rookie badge. This is his tops complete set. Okay. Start of the week PSA ten for thirty bucks. And now a little under forty. What was it thirty days ago? I mean, it costs you that much to get the damn thing graded. It's been pretty flat overall. Been very up and down. Looks like he swung up here. So maybe I don't know if I'd be buying this one, but this is a pretty low pop count. That's interesting. I probably won't put this one in the show notes in the description. But that makes up the list for today. Vlad Guerrero at the bottom, then Wander Franco, Dominguez, Trout, Alonzo, Torres, Griffey, the only real legend on here. Mike Trout's a legend, sure, but he's still active. Soto Acuna Tatis. That is pretty interesting because there was a lot of vintage guys last week, I believe. Or maybe that was on the highest change the ones going up the most. I don't remember. I do a video every day. Actually, usually more than one video a day because I do a society video also. Speaking of that, that link is in the description. Get an exclusive video pretty much every day outlining it. Because this stuff, I take this type of data, data and I dive in way deep. And I find a super good value, a really good opportunity. And then I make a video showing that for my members and uh, my reasoning as to why by showing them the data as to why I think the card is a really good opportunity. And we've been making a lot of money, like for real. Uh, but I can't guarantee anything. Like, you know, a lot of these cards, it depends on like, okay, if you sell them right now, you make money. But, you know, in a month, maybe they're down. And you're like, shit. But me, for when I buy cards, I know what I'm going to do going going in. Like, if I go in and buy a Tatis, I plan on flipping it, even though I believe in him. But he hasn't done anything. He's too young. 
So guarantee of his long-term value isn't there. But his short-term value, I feel confident in. Um, but I would still be selling these modern guys. I'd still be, other than Mike Trout, I'd still be selling all of these guys right before the season starts because I think that's where they'll peak. That's my that's my plan. I could be wrong, but uh, that's just kind of what history has shown us happens. So um, the society again, I'm gonna be raising the price. It's only nine ninety nine a month or ninety nine dollars a year, plus get discount PSA grading and access to this excellent private Discord group. Links in the description if you like this market movers tool. I mean, if you're serious about sports card investing, you got to have this. I'm serious. Um, Links in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month of your first year. Again, I use this tab and this tab and this tab the most. Uh, Join the Card Pack newsletter. It's free. I update you of top trending cards and players going on. I send that out almost every day. And... um, I think that's what I got for you. You know, subscribe to this video, to this channel, and hit that bell, man, because this content I come out with is time sensitive. And give it a like. Let's praise the YouTube algorithm gods. Oh. All right. Thank you for watching. Stay classy. You, Card Pack, are awesome.